the one seed in this region, Dave. Notre Dame, they stumbled to start the second half of the year, but they've clearly found their footing of late. What's changed? A lot of change, and it started with Steve Summerhays, their goaltender. Now, the one thing I've loved about him from the start of the year on is he has learned how to play with that big frame of his and be able to A, control rebounds, B, challenge well, and C, when the puck is in front of the net, battle and compete for rebounds, battle through screens, and track pucks. He has been terrific. And then offensively, a guy like Jeff Costello, big, strong, fast. He's back in the lineup. He missed some time early in the second part of the season. That was wrecked havoc on Notre Dame's lineup. But with him back in the lineup, and he scored a huge goal today, had an assist, he is one of those glue guys that makes their number one line with Anders Lee and Brian Russ that much better. <laughs> Notre Dame, the fourth and final one seed, the Midwest Regionals in Toledo, Ohio. Yeah, it'll be great. Um, I think Toledo's only a couple, two and a half hours away, or fairly close. Anyways, it's going to be great. Um, to be able to be in the tournament as a number one seed is pretty special. Um, but at the same time, uh, a lot of work to be done. Uh, St. Cloud State's a great team, uh, and the rest of bra the bracket is full of great teams as well. So, I mean, uh, we're going to enjoy it for the night, but uh, come Tuesday, we got to get back to work, get our minds focused, and uh, kind of level out a little bit and get ready to work on Saturday. Have we rehashed that stretch of the losing streak a million times since it ended. What does it say, I guess, about where this team is at now that it can be a number one seed after going through a period? Absolutely, and uh, you always talk about kind of trying to peak at the right time, trying to play your best hockey at the right time, and you know, last 10 or so games, we've been uh, finding our groove a little bit, and, and that's been evident with our success, uh, and the best thing that we can do is to, to work at our game and keep keep working hard in, uh, in a way that continues that kind of success, and, and uh, it says a lot about our team. The guys in the locker room can face any kind of adversity, um, very resilient group, and uh, come back from a little tough time and do something special. So as a Minnesota native, do you know much about St. Cloud State? Uh, I know enough about them, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, it'll be fun. There's a lot of Minnesota guys on that team. Uh, a couple of our teammates are on that team So uh, from juniors. So going back to play them will be pretty fun. Steve, what do you think about the Miami's missing regionally? like the fact that you might have to go through that in the Frozen Four? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, just any team you play in the national tournament is a great opponent. and. Uh, you know, I wouldn't mind playing Miami because, you know, they were still got a little chip on their shoulder for, uh, you know, winning the regular season. So I wouldn't mind being able to play them and, you know, proving that we are the better team and uh, the best team in the CCHA if tonight didn't exactly prove all of that. But, uh, I mean, any team that you play, like I said, is going to be a great opponent. So. Steven, the way they, these guys have been controlling the puck this weekend on the other end of the ice, I mean, somebody had a sign to come over and play together. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I mean, that's great when we can play like that, double, triple the opponent in shots sometimes. And I mean, uh, it's going to be tough to lose a game unless I really blow it. So, no, I mean, it, it's tough sometimes as a goalie just, you know, to sit there for 10, 12 minutes sometimes without even a shot. And sometimes the only shot they get in is a, a dump in from the point. So uh, it's tough. You just got to be uh, stay focused and prepared to uh, make some saves whenever they do get a little flurry or an odd man rush. And, uh, you know, with the back pressure we had and the defensive core playing the way they did, uh, you know, we were, we didn't give up too many odd man rushes and quality scoring chances. So it made my job pretty easy this weekend. Anders talked about peaking at the right time. Do you guys feel like you're peaking, or is there more to come still? Uh, I'd say we're definitely working towards that peak. I think we're pretty close. Um, you know, there's always room to keep improving. I don't think you're ever going to say you're perfect. Everyone's going to keep uh, working. You know, the guys on this team, Anders and – tying in and just pretty much Jeff, anyone in that locker room, uh, you know, they're always working to get better and uh, we want to keep improving as a team. And I think uh, this weekend's been our best two games we've put together back to back in a long time. And uh, we want to build off that and keep going. Yeah, coach holds his, holds a pretty good poker face and uh, Hey, that's just that's just kind of how he operates. Uh, he's he's all business. He's happy for us. He's very proud of us. Uh, but uh, he's he's waiting to let it all go uh, with one more one more one more goal. He did smile a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, it did get him to smile. <laughs> Yeah, coach has been battling uh, a few injuries he sustained earlier in the week, so <laughs> I had to, I assisted him on hoisting it. So like Gatorade pass or anything like that, you're gonna take it easy on him. Yeah, he can. Uh, we'll we'll save that kind of stuff for you know our final goal, something that we've that's what we're really working for. Um, so uh, we'll give it to him then. <laughs> you guys have been down this road before. I mean, you made a frozen four run as freshman. What what did you learn? I think the biggest thing is, is in the NCAA tournament, anything can happen. Um, all yeah. 16 teams are, are really good. Uh, going into that tournament, we were a three seed. We made it to the Frozen Four. Um, you know, with St. Cloud, Miami, they're all they're great teams, uh, Mankato. So for us to, to get to the Frozen Four, it's going to be a tough road. Uh, it's going to be a lot of battles that are going to need to be won. And uh, anything can really happen. Oh!